July 4th, 2022. Hope everybody out there has a good day today, and I hope you have a safe 4th of July. I'll start off by saying if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I'm sure some of y'all by now have heard of uh, New York's new gun law they're signing into law. It is absolutely ridiculous. They're going back and checking your social media. You've got to have references from people. Do y'all see what they're doing in New York? That will spread to other Democratic-run states more than likely. That's what I always told you. If you give them an inch, they take a mile. Well, look at their knee-jerk reaction to what the Supreme Court did. All right? They go hardcore into this. You don't have a Second Amendment right. The governor said she doesn't need numbers to prove anything. She can basically do what she wants to do. She's the governor. Her job is to keep citizens safe. Y'all need to read into what this is doing up there. If you live in New York, I would highly recommend getting out of that state. I mean, you have no Second Amendment rights in that state at all. Y'all have some of the craziest gun laws up there I've ever heard of. But this stuff here, they're going back now. I've said this before, this red flag law, what I've told y'all what would happen to it. You'll see people get red flagged over posts on Facebook. A video like this on YouTube will get you flagged by somebody. They're trying everywhere in the world to take people. It's a backdoor gun grab. I've told you this. That's all it is. They're trying to take guns away. Well, they can't do it legally. So they invent this red flag law, which is a backdoor gun grab. You're guilty until proven innocent. And up there, they're, like I said, you're having to go back. They're checking, like, for three or four years, your Facebook posts and your tweets and all that. And how many of these people that's in government, if they applied for a pistol permit, how many of them could pass this thing? Not many of them, but I guarantee you they would let them slide on stuff they say. This is what I'm saying. You have no more freedoms anymore. New York is basically now a communist-run state. They're telling you that you can't do this, you can't do that, you have no rights when it comes to the Constitution. This is getting out of hands, guys. And you know what's going to happen? Nothing. People will complain about it and nothing will get done. Nothing. My advice would be to move out of the state of New York if you live up there and if you live in New York City, especially move out. I know there's some guys on here that live in New York that put channel, you know, has channels here on YouTube. I I don't know. Think about what would happen to them, you know. Now, if they have to go do this background check. Now, I'm not just talking about a normal background check to get a firearm. I am talking about now they're going to interview three or four of your buddies that you write down for references. They're going to go back and you've got to give them access to all your social media accounts. And then after a list of things, maybe you get it, maybe you don't get your permit. Guys, this is how this stuff starts. It's hard to believe that the Revolutionary War started up in that area because the way people are up there now, they just take it and go, you know, well, well what it's going to do is going to cause people not to even try to get a pistol permit, which I'm all for constitutional carry. I mean, you should not have to have a permit. This is just making it harder to get a permit, and the people that they're trying to keep guns away from don't have permits anyways. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is what America's come to. You watch these bigger states like New York and California, their laws they pass. Well, eventually those laws trickle out into other states. It's just how, it's how it goes. How is this woman, how is she not getting took out of office, you know, being voted out of office with crap like this? Is there that much support up there for this nonsense that now you have to give up all your... Your, your social media to them, you have to give up everything to them just to get a pistol permit. Whatever happened to freedom of speech, right to keep and bear arms, illegal search and seizures, what, what, what happened to, all, to the Bill of Rights? What is going on here? When you see this stuff go on in bigger states like that, it trickles out. We've all seen it before. California used to be the worst, but this lady has surpassed California with this crap. If you live in New York, or especially New York City, I would move. I would get out of that area because you're not getting safer by this governor. I can guarantee you that. She said she doesn't need numbers to prove anything. She just does what she wants. That is a communist dictator is what that is that comes in and says, I can do what I want. I don't care about this. I don't care about that. I'll do whatever I want when I want. 
that is communism, socialism, whatever you want to call it. It is not democratic. Guys, stay safe out there. I, I mean, if you haven't heard of this, there'll be a link in the description of what she said. Y'all read that. You know, it's absolutely ridiculous. Y'all comment on this, please. If you live in that area, please comment on this. I want to know your thoughts on this. If you live anywhere in America, comment on this and let me know your thoughts. Like or dislike the video, be sure to comment on this one. If you're still watching, hit the subscribe button. We're still trying to hit 500 subs before the whole world goes to craps. what we're trying to do here. Guys, stay safe out there. Have a good 4th of July. Be safe. Remember what 4th of July is for. A lot of people don't know what it's for anymore. You know, and that's sad. Stay safe out there. Always keep your head on the swivel. Be aware of your surroundings. You're not safe in America anywhere anymore. Guys, hit the subscribe button and stay safe. We'll get another video up later today.